Now, I've been trying to get some time to get to this one because I found it really interesting. This person, we were going back and forth about the OIC, the ordering council that was put in place to uh, to ban the 1,200-plus firearms that were banned last April. And the comment this person made was this. Uh, they, they think the government has full ability to just do whatever they want when it comes to firearms. And they said, that's how laws get made with the OIC that I had referenced. Now, I want to explain to everybody what an OIC is, because typically when laws get made, they get voted on in the House. A bill is presented, it's voted on, it gets enough support, and then it's transcribed into law at some point in time. That's how that works. That's not how this worked. The reason it didn't work this way is because they didn't have the popular support to do what they wanted to do. So what they did is they came forward with an order in council. And what an order in council is, how it functions, is the Queen's Privy Council will come up with a recommendation, in this case, the banning of firearms. And they will do that undercover. They will do that with no transparency whatsoever to what they're doing. They still haven't released the information they based the ban off of in the courts. So the Queen's Privy Council comes up with a recommendation. They take it to the correlating minister with whatever framework that recommendation should exist within. And in this case, it was Bill Blair at the time, the public health or the public safety minister, and he took it to Judy Payette, the governor general. The governor general read it and agreed with it and said, yep, yeah, order and council passed. Now, that's not how laws get made in Canada. That's actually that order and council process is used for minor things, changes to documents, stuff like that. And it's so they don't have to go through 14 layers of bureaucracy every time they want to make a simple change. Now, the liberals have Re, re, de, repurposed the order in council to just write whatever law they want, and that's what they did here. So no, that is not how laws get made in Canada. If you think laws should get made that way, then go move to fucking China.